I'm Barbara Black and of Blackfish Gallery and this is one of the older paintings that I have in the show. I believe this painting was started in about 2002 and it carries on a theme that I've worked on a long time of ritual vessels and cloths. This is the first one to have a Grecian vessel in it and uh, um, that is kind of a symbol for me of our our civilization more or less. Uh, I think I use Greek art in that respect. What was unusual about this one for me was that the cloth um, transformed from cloth into water moving through the landscape and then down into a waterfall and that was a new element in this particular painting and intrigued me quite a bit. And I had started this sequence of canvases creating a column in memory of a um, column, a three-dimensional column I did with the value steps like this, uh, only it was in three dimensions, it was seven feet tall and had wings, three-dimensional wings on the top. And about two weeks after I began, had begun this um, work, I found in a stack of old paintings uh, what I called a portrait of the original three-dimensional column, a portrait of the top three and a half feet of it, showing the wings in the column as it was then. And so this is about 1984. It just amused me that I'd totally forgotten it, and there was this painting lurking in the, in the stack in the studio uh, of a work that I was revisiting. This is a painting that I started about a year and a half ago. Uh, it's called... Um, Winged presence, and um, there are the wings. And I was trying to brighten up my palette. And in fact, for this show, I said I was going to avoid black, but that didn't turn out. So uh, it has lots of black in it, but it was uh, going to the kind of red green opposition that I like. The forms are typical of me in that portals uh, and wings, as you saw in the last column. Um, are kind of typical symbols that I that appeal to me and that I use a lot. This more is black. More black. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, totally a black and white scale. And this is a revisiting of a theme that I did in two canvases previously. It's called Orpheus Still Sings Number Three. And um, the thought is that this is the underworld, the staircase to the underworld, this is the upper world. And the mythology has it that Orpheus's head was found drifting in the sea off the Isle of Lesbos at the end of his life. This is called Inundation of a Grecian Column. And this, again, is a painting that's been underway for years and somehow I couldn't seem to bring it to a resolution. And uh, the once again, the Greek reference, kind of a symbol of our civilization. And, and the thought of, at the time that I began it, I believe, was uh, the threats to civilization by uh, natural and, uh, and ideological forces, I think. And that's kind of what that symbolism is about. Uh, this is inundation and uh, represents kind of a dream imagery that reoccurs to me, and it, it actually relates to the other in that there's the um, structure with the flooding of ideas, or in this case, actually the ocean is what flooded the houses and structures in my dreams, a repetition of a certain kind of dream that I had for years and years. Again, just a slight Greek reference with the um, heads on the columns, um, and um, kind of a darkness in the, in the ocean, which was actually painted before the Gulf oil spill, but made me think of the oil in the Gulf when I was working on it. This is called Dark Angel, Dark Angels, and there are kind of a, two figures of angels in the sky. And it has one of my um, typical themes of a portal or a door. 
I've used that a lot. Uh, doors and windows a lot over the years to kind of signify um, a different realm, uh, an entry to a different realm, whether it's an inner realm, a spiritual realm, or, or some other level of, of life or consciousness. The other images in, the, in this particular piece, I'm not quite aware of yet, so I'm not sure of quite what it means. Uh, the, the X is actually uh, a symbol from, I think, the Lindisfarne Gospels and can sometimes be thought of as a symbol of Christ, but also X and O's are hugs and kisses, and then some people think it's more sinister than that. I'm not sure. Nobody knows. <laughs> no. The title of this one is Invasion, and once again, a canvas that has been in progress a long, a very long time in my studio. Once again, the theme of a structure, a man-made structure, uh, kind of architectural, and then uh, there's a breaking down and invasion of other forces, whether watery or um, ideological, or um, I'm not sure. That's just kind of a... a theme that seems to come out of my unconscious about threats to the culture or the planet and is determined to appear in my work, but this work has no black in it. Hey, you did it. The one success. <laughs> one or two. <laughs> These three I think of as part of a sequence in a way. They were um, they're relatively new, perhaps uh, the newest pieces in the show. Uh, and in fact, this is the last one I worked on. This is watercolor and acrylic and charcoal. Once again, the reference to the, uh, the motif of Greek civilization. I didn't realize how strong it was in the show until we're doing this. It's in almost, the Greek reference is in almost every piece, isn't it? Um, and uh, this is uh, rather related to the other inundation piece in that there's water flooding through structures. Once again, a kind of Grecian reference and uh, ancient cultural references there. Is that a collage? Uh, yes, this is collage and uh, acrylic and mixed media. Hmm. I'll get it. And, and that was inundation too. And? And... This is Lionsgate Mycenae uh, with the two lions and that was a wonderful memory I had when I get, got to finally visit Mycenae and walk through that gate. And so this, and this is partly collage and then hidden in the kind of acrylic brushwork around here are little pencil drawings of animals because I think as with many of us the uh, survival of the various species is, is very high in our consciousness right now. And this one relates a lot to the, um, the piece in the window as well with the animal theme. They're probably out the animals. <laughs> They'll out survive us? Humans. <laughs> probably. Especially the insects. This is called Walking on Water, and originally it began with just the little pencil drawings of the animals. Uh, and then I guess I was thinking of medieval manuscripts for some way, for some reason, and this is watercolor around the borders of it. But also thinking of the melting of the ice caps, because I think of these as polar bears. And so that's why it's called Walking on, the wa walking on Water? Question mark. Uh, it's kind of a sad title in a way, which it didn't start out that way, but the animals look a little anxious and worried to me. It's a watercolor and pencil. Yes. But I was, it was kind of, I can't explain how it was. Everything that could go on. Yeah, yeah. So are you in the gallery? Is there a tone? 